Amen. I just want to let you know that God is one, and besides Him, there is no other God. He is the creator of heaven and earth. He is none existent. He was always there. He will always be. From everlasting to everlasting, God is God. Amen. Let's get into our word. In the book of Acts chapter 21 verse 11, we're going to start. And when he was come unto us, he took Paul's girdle and bound his own hands and feet and said, Thus said the Holy Ghost, So shall the Jews at Jerusalem bind the men that own this girdle, and shall deliver him into the hands of the Gentiles. And when he heard these things, both we and they of that place besought him not to go up to Jerusalem. Then Paul answered, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only, but also to die at Jerusalem for the name of the Lord Jesus. Amen. My brothers and sisters, if you are going to a church, you have ministers as friends. They don't have this kind of attitude to serve the Lord. I am pleading with you. I'm exhorting you right now to start looking for another church. If anyone is not about souls to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, to follow the same example that the Lord Jesus Christ gave to his disciples, to Apostle Paul, to the Apostle Peter, James, John, Bartholomew. If any church is not preaching that message, it is an apostate church. Amen. Because Paul here got into this place where his own brothers told him not to go to Jerusalem because he was going to be bound in chains and given to the Gentiles. He knew that his life was in danger in spite of. In verse 13 he said, What mean ye to weep and to break my heart? For I am ready not to be bound only but also to die. He was ready to die for the gospel of Jesus Christ. How many ministers you see on TVN, you see on Word Network, you see on television, you see in your church, ever preach the gospel like the Apostle Paul is preaching right now. But what you hear them saying is plant a seed for your need. They preach that prosperity gospel instead of preaching the true doctrine, the true sound doctrine of Jesus Christ. The Apostle Paul did not say, but I also ready to, to receive money, not ready to, to get a title. He was not ready to call, to, to, to give himself titles, but he was ready to die. For the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Many people in our days use the Lord Jesus Christ's name as a product to sell books, to sell tapes, to increase their church members. They use the name of Jesus Christ just to make money, to become CEOs, to use jets, and all these lavish lifestyle that they are living. But they are not ready to die. The Bible says, Jesus said, if you, are, if you are ready to suffer with him, then you're ready to reign with him. So these people are not ready to suffer with Christ, but they want to reign. They want to have money. They want to have prosperity. But Brother Paul, the Apostle Paul, has warned us that this thing would happen in the, the uh, 20th chapter. In verse 28, he did warn us before this thing even happened. He said, take heed therefore unto yourselves and to all the flock over the which the Holy Ghost had made you overseas to feed the church of God which he had purchased with his own blood. 
you did not die for the church of God. It was the Lord Jesus Christ who purchased the church with his own blood. What did he say in verse 29? For I know this that after my departing shall grievous wolves enter in among you, not sparing the flock. So the wolf is going to come in like in sheep clothing to destroy the flock of God. And it's already happening right now in our churches around America. That's why you can have 50 churches in the block. But on the same block, you see a lot of prostitutes. You see a lot of crackheads. You see a lot of thieves, a lot of drug dealers. But these ministers do not go out to preach the gospel to them. It's because they are not from God. These ministers only after your money. That's why they charge you tithes and offering, which is not biblical. God did not call you just to pay tithes and offering. He wants your soul to be delivered. He wants your soul to be saved. These ministers, I know them. I went to this church, I believe five or, or six, seven years ago. The first time I went to that church, I wanted to become a member. The number one thing they interested in, they didn't even care if I was saved or not. They wanted me to pay tithes because they want the building to be paid. That's why they have all this big building open up because they have to have a lot of members in order for them to keep it open. That's why they don't care about soul. They give you sugar-coated messages, not salt, but sugar daddy messages to keep you coming to the church. It's like a drug. So they can keep the attendance so the bills can be paid. It is not the church of God. It is an organization. They are not from God. If any church of God is not preaching the word of God, they are not in the light of God. They are not in the light, but they are in darkness. They must preach the word of God from word to word. The word of God is our example, my friend. It says in Woman 15, verse 4, For whatsoever things were written aforetime were written for our learning, that we, through patience and comfort, the scriptures might have hope. Everything that God gave us in this word of God is for our learning. Any pastors, any church that is not going to the word of God to teach the flock of God about the word of God is not a church of God. It is an organization that is robbing you for money. They are having an agenda for themselves. I'm just trying to open your eyes. I'm not going against these people. I'm going against the false preachers, the false wolves. See, Apostle Paul says, for I know this, that after my departing shall grievous wolves see the wolves are gonna come they're gonna act like sheep but they don't have the word of god they have entertainment they don't have words to feed you did you hear what paul said he said overseas to do what to feed the church of god you can only be fed by the word of god you can't be fed with entertainment with a lot of dancing with a lot of singing you can only be fed by the truth. Jesus said, I am the way, the truth, and the life. And the word that I'm speaking unto you, they are spirit and they are life. The reason why a lot of church in, the, a church in America are dying is because they have no word. They don't have, they are not being fed by the true word of God because of these wolves. Wolves which he had purchased. Jesus purchased the church with his blood. Paul was crying, he was weeping because he knows there's a lot of them out there. And then here, here he's saying, he said also, of your own selves shall men arise speaking what perverse things to draw away disciples after them. They're gonna teach different things, not coming from the word of God. You got to watch for yourself. You got to read the word. You got to study the word for yourself because you are responsible for your own salvation. That's why in Philippians 2 verse 12, it says what? Wherefore, my beloved, as you have always obeyed, not in my presence only, but now much more in my absence, work out your own salvation with fear and trembling with fear and trembling because the Lord Jesus Christ is coming back 
What did he say? Verse 31, he said, Therefore watch and remember that by the space of three years I cease not to warn everyone night and day with tears. That's the reason why we need to keep the sound doctrine in the word of God. It is not about emotions. It is not about your feelings. It's about the word of God. And Paul also says in 1 Timothy chapter 6, verse 3, he says, If any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ and to the doctrine which is according to godliness, what he said, he is proud, knowing nothing, but doting about questions and strife of words whereof cometh envy, strife, railings, and evil surmising. People is going to come and try to teach you different things, but you must judge everything with the word of God. Is everything that person saying lined up with the word of God? I'm not talking about how he smiles and say good stuff about you. I'm not saying how fluent his English speaking is. I'm not talking about that. I'm talking about is everything he's saying match up? with the word of God. If any man, I don't care who it is, what title he has, what is his stature, if any man teach otherwise and consent not to wholesome words, even the words of our Lord Jesus Christ into the doctrine which is according to godliness, not according to prosperity. They're gonna come in and say, God did not call everybody to be poor. That is a trick from the devil. Okay, he is proud knowing nothing, supposing that gain is godliness. But godliness with contentment is great gain. Do not let people fool you, people. People's gonna come with different doctrine that sounds good. They are itching ears messages, they are not from God. So let's go back to our verse. Acts chapter 21. So brother Paul was ready to die for the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. How many ministers do you have in our days that is ready to go outside to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ to risk their life? Not many. But God is raising up a lot of young kids a lot of young men, strong men of God, filling up with the Holy Ghost, with boldness to go outside and stand in the street with their signs, with their t-shirt, to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ, a non-compromising gospel, instead of preaching prosperity and money to all your need, to a seed for your need. They don't have time for that, but they are ready to preach the gospel of Jesus Christ because Jesus Christ is returning the same way Jesus Christ used the, the John the Baptist as a forerunner to prepare the way for the Lord's coming. Right now, the Lord is using a lot of young men out there as a forerunner to prepare for the coming back of Jesus Christ. Many of these pastors are pimps. Many of them are just looking for a big church and a big gymnasium in a big organization so they can make money they want a name and reputation for themselves and they're going to leave it for their family or their uncles or their cousins they are not after to contend for the faith of jesus christ they are their belly is their god are you listening to me what does isaiah 20 uh, verse 20 Isaiah 8 verse 20 says the, to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word it is because there, there is no light in them. Any preacher, any pastor, any bishop that is preaching God's words not according to God's words if they are speaking not according to God's word they have no light in them. Because those who are from God speaks God's words. There is a reason why your minister, your pastor cannot speak according to God's words. They can only use philosophy, psychology, their own words. 
because there is no light in them if they have the light the Holy Spirit in them they would speak God's words it says they speak not according to this word which word the Word of God the Word of God can preach itself it does not need psychology to prep up the people to tickle their ears it says what to the law and to the testimony if they speak not according to this word to this word to this word it is because there is no light in them so you do not sit in front of a pastor or a bishop who is not speaking God's words they only quote one verse in the Bible but you don't see any more verses according to the word are they speaking the word of God because without the word of God you are not gonna grow you can't be fed that's the reason why a lot of people are in church for 20 50 years and they can't grow they still have the bad attitude they are still bitter they still live like the world they still smell like the world they still dress like the world they still speak and act like the world because they have no seed in them they are not being fed the proper way that's why the Bible says in the book of John chapter 8 47 they that are from God hears the Word of God and those people who are really from God they are thirsty and hungry for some word if you are under a pastor that is feeding you the wrong food you're gonna be mal you're gonna have malnutrition you're not gonna be fed the right way do you understand that's what the Bible said they speak not according to this word which word the word of God it is because there is no light in them this word can speak for itself do you understand what I'm saying